This is the first video ever to hit a million views on YouTube. And these are the Nike Tiempo boots Ronaldinho wore in one of the most talked about clips of all time. We went in search of the boots and talked to those who remembered the commercial's awesome cultural impact. I don't have the real one. I have some, I have the next best things. It's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity to have such like memory on hand like this, you know. It might be hard to imagine now, but there was a time in the internet's infancy when there was no global all-access video platform. That was until three PayPal colleagues started YouTube, with the first video, Me at the Zoo, featuring founder Jawed Karim, being published on the 24th of April, 2005. And that's pretty much all there is to say. Just months later, from a golden case, a pair of white and gold Nike Air Legend Tiempos were handed to the man who'd won the Ballon d'Or earlier that year, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho not only recovered the smile of uh, Barca fans, also recovered the smile of people in Catalonia. Obviously, he, he already had that flair, you know, that special something about him back when he played for PSG. Ronaldinho has always been like um, a symbol of pure joy of football. It's quite simple, but, but at the same time, it's like, it's everything about football, you know. Not only a magic player, Ronaldinho was also a happy player. I think this is contagious. Ronaldinho arrived like a force of nature, winning the Copa America at 19, by 2002 had also become a World Cup winner, then on July the 20th, 2003, joined Barcelona from PSG for £21 million. I remember, um, I'm, a, I'm a Manchester United supporter. You probably also remember back when Beckham left for Real Madrid, um, there was a lot of talk about Ronaldinho joining from, from PSG. So, you know, I, I watched a lot of videos and I was ready for Ronaldinho at Manchester United. And then, um, you know, life happened and he moved to Barcelona because apparently uh, United didn't close the deal fast enough. The very first memory about this player was um, his his presentation. I mean, the, the very first debut um, at at um, Barcelona, I remember um, how he how he performed the tricks in front of the uh, photographers. You know that was like brilliant, and it was like, oh, who who is this player? Turns out that player was the first marquee signing of Juan Laporta's first term as Barcelona president, having won the election just a month before Ronaldinho joined the club. One friend of Juan Laporta at this moment was Sandro Rosell. Sandro Rosell uh, ha, ha, have, I think in this moment, also have a good relationship with Ronaldinho uh, because he worked at Nike. Sandro Rosell met Ronaldinho at Nike. I think Rosell was, was the most important person, important person uh, for uh, make this transfer. While excitement amongst Barca fans was building for the Brazilians' arrival, it was battling frustration and anger in the hearts of the Blaugrana faithful. They'd been waiting three years without a single trophy. Then came his home debut against Sevilla, and the game was played on Tuesday the 2nd of September 2003 at midnight. This name, the Gaspacho match. The Gaspacho match? Yes, be because the the board of directors of Barcelona decided to, to give for free yeah. uh, a little gazpacho at all the fans of Barcelona this night and a Kit Kat also. Gazpacho and Kit Kat. <laughs> what a random combination of things. It was uh, uh, extraordinary. It, it, it was one of the best matches I've seen in Camp Nou. How does it make you feel? to know that you were there for that, like, that moment of history. I remember my grandfather yeah. eat his gazpacho and my gazpacho, and I eat the two Kit Kats. <laughs> <laughs> Kit Kat from my grandfather and, and my Kit Kat, I remember that. That sounds like and a it, fair it compromise. It was a big night, it was a big night. At the time that Nike released this advert, um, they had um, a legacy already of having produced some incredible adverts. I mean, they were big budgets, big stars, lots of names, like big directors as well. They were like movies. They were. And then, and, but then this particular video, it's, it was a huge departure from them really because it's one camera, one guy, handheld. Like the brief must have just been, give him the boots and then see what happens. 
obviously you could say that it marked a, 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 like a change in how you do marketing, but Nike went back to all these big budget uh, uh, marketing uh, films, especially around the big tournaments uh, after that Ronaldinho moment in 2005. I, I think it, it, it made them understand that, that going viral is important. And I think that, that really was a, um, like a tentpole moment for not just Nike, but for, for football marketing in general, that, that they saw, okay, we use these um, superstars in a different setting, in a different way. We make them a little bit more human, although what Ronaldinho does isn't really human, but, but you know, it's just a standard setting. People watch a video that it could be made by him. It's an, a, a, a little advert with a big star, but a proper big star. It's not. It's only a great star in the pitch, playing with Barcelona, and the rest of his time he's a normal person. I'm going to ask you the next question together. Okay. Was it real? Do you care? Uh, no. And yeah, I actually, I, I do care. Um, I don't think it was real, and I think you know they've they've come out and said different things at different points. Obviously, they. They said it was real at the beginning. Um, I think it's clear now that it's not real. Do I care? Uh, I shouldn't, but as, as like a creative guy, I've been making YouTube videos for Unisport for like 13 years. I think it's brilliant, right? Because obviously it was outrageous what he did, but it was the discussion. I think that's what really made it a success. The actual, the physical entity itself, um, the boot, I, I don't have the real one, which, uh, yes, am I a bad football boot nerd? Sorry, I am. Um, I, 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 have some, I have the next best thing. So, so basically, the, 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 the boot in the video was the first uh, Chembo Air Legend one. Uh, and, um, and, and that was made sp sp specifically for him in white and gold. And, and rumors were back then that, that his boots um, were made with uh, 24 karat gold the swoosh and the tongue, which was pretty awesome. I actually have the, the remake model, um, which were released um, um, a couple of years back. It's 80%, 80% identical to the original model. If we still have the original model um, with me now, I mean, the condition of the material would, would have been, you know, it, it just by time, in the age of the boots, you know, just the condition boots change. But when they do the remake, you can feel, you know, this, this feeling, you know, I used to have this feeling, you know, touching the boots back in the day. And then they made it, then, you know, to me, it's a, it's a, it's a great opportunity to have such like memory on hand like this, you know. You know, it recalls you lots of memories, you know, the ad, you know, the time that you try to duplic duplicate the, the tricks of the players, you know. The fact that Ronaldinho, maybe he didn't deliver as many trophies as many medals as one would expect a player of his caliber considering mm -hmm. the the magnitude of, of of his impact still um do you think there's a sense that uh, maybe while he may maybe could have underachieved in in a, from a footballing sense culturally speaking his influence is is one of the biggest of, of players in recent time uh, mate, i think i think we don't give i don't think we give ronaldinho enough credit in terms of that because the fact that he brought in that sort of playful style um, where it was okay to showboat. So I, I don't want to I don't want to blame Ronaldinho and belittle his his like his achievements because he's meant so much more than just winning a, a trophy. And I think he's he's uh, affected football uh, so much that his legacy is actually greater being the player he was rather than if he just won 10 more trophies and not really made a, a change in the way we, we think and play football today. The players he's inspired, the young players coming up today with a lot of skill. I mean, would Neymar have been the same player without Ronaldinho? I don't think so. So he changed an entire way of playing football for me, or at least he, he, he led the way. He was like the, the, the lighthouse, the beacon of playing uh, football where you can basically just express yourself, have fun. Do what you want. No rules.